Did you know your environment has a profound impact on your DNA and your health? Basically, everything you do, your exercise, the food you eat, the various life stresses, can impact your DNA directly. Your environment can either chemically modify your DNA or it can in fact affect the way it's packaged. It can modify the packaging material that surrounds your DNA and determines whether genes are turned on and off. Now the collection of modifications, either the direct effect of modifying the DNA or modifying the packaging material is called epigenomics. It basically is highly cued by the environmental influences that impact it. In fact, what you may not realize is that your aging is a genetically determined response. You don't just wear out. You, in fact, are programmed to get old and die. And so people are trying to actually figure out how to control this so that they can basically live longer, healthier lives. So when astronauts go into space, they undergo incredible stress. And they're also exposed to radiation. In space, people are very concerned that aging actually may be accelerated by all the radiation damage that occurs. And so one thing you can follow is in fact the ends of people's chromosomes are called the telomeres. And the telomeres are very important for protecting the ends of your DNA and they're thought to be useful for protecting aging as well. And so one of the things we'll be doing is following people's telomeres as they're in space. One of the other things we'll be doing is following the collection of these epigenetic changes. And the reason we're doing that is because we know that they are modified by stress. And so we'd like to understand, as Scott is traveling in space, what kinds of changes might occur on the DNA or on the material that's packaging the DNA. And we'd like to see how those changes are occurring, again, under these various stresses, after a liftoff, after radiation exposure, after just living a long time in space, and after eating just a very defined diet. We'll also see how they change or revert back after he returns to Earth. Why is this useful for people on Earth? Just as in space, for people on Earth, we want to understand how stress responses directly influence people's DNA. We want to understand these epigenomic changes that occur. We want to understand which ones will be permanent and which ones will be temporary. And ideally, we want to understand this information so we can better manage people's health. If we see certain kind of perturbations in their DNA, we might be able to treat them differently than if we didn't have this information. So in summary, epigenomics is really important. It may in fact be more valuable than understanding your DNA itself. Because how you actually change your DNA through your habits, through the food you eat, through your exercise, through how you age, is ultimately going to be very valuable for managing your health.